Hello and welcome to Find and Create. My name is James Major and this is the start of my YouTube channel. So this is video number one of two videos in which I'll be taking broken pottery shards like these and turning them into mosaic tiles like these. I hope you enjoy my videos. Please like and subscribe and share the videos to help grow my channel. So sit back and enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Thank you. Over the last few months of mudlarking, I've been collecting as many broken pottery shards as possible. The only thing they had to be was blue and white. Then each of the shards has been cut down using a circular disc towel cutter into squares and rectangles for this project. Starting with shards like these, I'll show you the towel cutting process. So this is how we cut the pottery pieces. Um, it's a towel cutter. Um, that works with water. So we'll pour some water in here. That lubricates the wheel. A bit more. Gives a bit. So the wheel sitting in the water, as I say, that will lubricate the cutting process. Safety goggles. It's very noisy, but this is how we do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before we start making anything is to create a set or a mould so that each of the tiles is exactly the same size. If you're just making one, um, that's not so important, but as I'm doing a bathroom floor, I want to make sure that each of my tiles is identical in dimension to the previous one. Now this is just made from pallet wood, um, simply cut into lengths. You have to have two slightly shorter lengths. So these two, and then two longer lengths. This is so that when they're assembled, the internal dimensions of the box itself are the same. So it's a proper square. So as you can see here, that just fits nicely there, as it also does there. Okay, so getting it square is important. If you don't get the box square, then it's going to be more difficult when you come to do the tiling later on. So, as I said, this is just pallet wood, um, it's going to be screwed together. Some of the tools that I've used for creating this, obviously just basic stuff, tape measure, pencils. Uh, I've got one of these uh, electric screwdrivers, makes the job easier, but you can use a normal screwdriver. Obviously you're going to need a saw to cut the wood up, um, screws, and then at the end, when we've created this, the other thing I forgot to mention is obviously a base as well. I put a base on because um, the, there's quite a lot of weight in the tile cement and it's also semi-liquid, you don't want it running out. So to create this, um, this solid box, we have a, a bottom on it and everything then has to be greased. Okay, so otherwise when you come to actually take the tile out, it won't release from the wood. So to ensure it doesn't stick we just basically create a non-stick surface with the Vaseline. It doesn't react with the towel grout, so no need to worry about that. So um, this is the box when I put it together. I'll come back to you shortly and I'll show you what it looks like. So there we are. Uh, one box or set 
in which we're going to make um, one of my large mosaic tiles. It's all greased up so that the uh, tile doesn't stick to it. So what we'll do is I'll get on with making the, uh, the tile that's going to go in there or the mosaic that's going to go in there and I'll show you the next stage. So in order to make our larger mosaic tile we have to select many of these and position them in such a way that they fit the slightly over 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter box. Now to secure them in position I use this very broad sellotape upside down so the sticky side is up and I make a grid so you, to hold the tiles in position which I'll demonstrate now. So this gives you the idea of the layout, just turn it over. So now I've got to do is make sure that each individual um, tile is, is definitely stuck to the sellotape and push them all down because this side needs to be smooth and flat. The other side doesn't matter because the uh, tile cement will make up the difference and level things out. What I'm going to do now is to cut off the excess sellotape and then we'll take the tiles to the set to the box and we'll trial fit them and make sure that they fit into the mould properly. So we'll take this out to the box and trial fit it. We'll need two hands for this. So there we go, fits perfectly. So now we've got to apply the white tile grout um, from this direction, which will sort of go into all the, the grooves, obviously, and then it'll form like a layer, which we then apply the cement to. Otherwise, you end up with the grey from the cement in all the grooves, which you have then to then sort of scratch out, which is a pain. So we'll do the white first. Okay, so this is a white tile grout. Mixed, we'll splodge this in here. And then just spread it around and push it into the, the cracks between the tiles. doesn't set too quickly so you've got time to spread it around and mess about. And what I do, what I found is that um, as I get close to the edges just get a little small household sponge and just push the, the last parts in with a sponge. I've also got this old uh, work um, pass card which I use to, to push into the corners as well. So there we are, sort of not too uh, smooth, doesn't matter, it's just to cover all the tiles evenly and make sure that the white is in all the gaps between each of the little individual pieces. We'll leave that to set for 
Well, certainly till tomorrow. So we've mixed up some uh, of the grey tile cement now. And we're going to fill this in, in here to, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a pencil line around the edge. That'll give it our thickness for the tile. So we'll fill this, uh, smooth it all out. This time we want to try and get it as flat as possible so that it does form a nice even tile thickness, which we can then use for the project later on. Okay, so nice, even, flat coverage of the tile cement, bringing it up to the thickness that we want. Okay, so this has had, I don't know, 10 hours or so to, um, to dry. So um, it's nice and hard. So hopefully it will release from mold. I'm just gonna run a knife around the edge of here, just to give it a bit more chance of, of separating cleanly. We'll just do that first of all. It's just a, flexible um, one of these ones that you snap individual pieces of blade off every time you want to renew it but the good thing about that is quite long and quite flexible so it just enables us to get down the, the side and kind of as I hopefully release the mold a little better I'm not gonna go too harsh because I'll probably cut into the wood and that'll spoil the mold for next time quite hard actually it's been a hot day so it's well set we'll leave it at that okay so I've already marked to myself to release this side so we'll undo that and that and that but I'll also have to do the bottom as well otherwise this will hold the, the side on take some of the pressure off the um, off the sides so you can already see this one's coming apart so release is successful and because I've and undone the bottom I can pop these sides one two and because I greased the base hopefully now the tile will just lift out in one piece although I can see a little bit of a Sneaky crack at the back, so I'll just let's just run that blade down there. Just try and make sure it comes out clean. I could remove all the sides, but it's always then slightly a bit of a pain. And what I have to do, I will just remove the bottom. The problem with releasing all the sides of the mold is every time you do that. The holes in the mould for the screws get bigger and bigger and bigger and it becomes less accurate of the squareness. So, bottom off. There we are. Power away. There we go. Okay. So, there's all the sellotape on this, which we need to peel off. In fact, let's go for it. Let's go for it. There we are. I'll take it comes off. There we are. 
So one tile. All we need to do now is just regrout. Well, just tidy these grouts up and then regrout when we get another one like the one you've seen before. So now the tile is set and uh, I've tidied the edges up. It's pretty uniformly thick all the way around. Okay, and it's nice and solid. So the next job is we take this, which is a very tiny little file, little round file, in focus, and we tidy up these grout lines because, as you can see, it's sort of, whereas there's some bad bits there, sort of overlapped and bled in and is a little bit ugly, so that needs tidying up, and then the whole thing wants regrouting, so it's all uniform. So all we've got to do is get this little file and basically just carefully gr um, groove out the old grout from between the pottery pieces to give a kind of a nice uniform depth and width to each of the, um, the gaps which we can then grout and it gives a nice more attractive appearance to the whole piece. I'll come back to you when it's all done. Yeah, I've been treasure hunting for many, many years from being a, a child, I think. And uh, obviously more recently with my own children, we would go what we would call treasure hunting. They didn't call it mudlarking then. Invariably we'd be attracted to these blue ones because obviously they're a bit brighter in the water or in the mud. And, uh, I think what I really like the most is, is the uh, infinite variety of different designs that uh, that you can find on this blue and white pottery. So you've got the the willow ware, the, the the different flowers here, different flower there. What appears to be a, a basket containing some flowers on this one. Um, this was is this one. We'll turn it round. Is the, uh, the little the tree. Um, this one here look like tiny forget me nots. And the other thing that's that's interesting is or that's amazing is these were people's possessions, people have, uh, have eaten from these, they were in somebody's house, somebody bought them, somebody liked the design and bought it, and uh, after being broken and discarded, um, they've now got this new life in this tile or in these tiles, and the more you look at them, the more attractive they become, so um, yeah, that's what uh, inspired me to, to create this um, collage of mosaic broken pottery tiles. And the one thing we do have at the moment is time, time to think. And time to do these these things, these craft ideas and these things you uh, like to have done before but never really had the time. So yeah, in a normal situation it's too much effort, um, it would take too long, but right at the moment it's I'm out here in the sunshine, with the birds, and a uh, chance to think and a chance to create something. So good therapy. And I think that is pretty much there. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. But we can now regrout that properly and um, yeah, finish it off. Okay.
So that's it basically. Bring it into the, uh, the sunlight and see you better. So there we go. One complete tile. On to the next. So that was video number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's the finished product again. Join me in part two when I'll be making more of these and I'll be showing you what I actually do with them. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon.